Alexander Girard was a prominent mid-20th century American designer. He was trained as an architect, but he functioned primarily as a textile designer. But he also designed furniture, he designed graphics, he designed objects and even toys. He was part of this group of designers who were challenging the way that people thought about their environments. They were following this credo, form follows function. So trying to develop new designs, new furniture that reflected a modern way of living. Gerard was part of that movement, but he even challenged them. He went a little bit further. A lot of modern designers, they were stripping down furniture and architecture to its bare components, thinking that anything ornamental or decorative was not relevant in modernism. So Gerard rejected that concept. He thought that we were more than human machines. He denied that seeing and feeling and remembering and touching things weren't functional and weren't important too. So his designs brought color back into modern interiors. He was inspired by handicrafts and mass production. And so his designs are really kind of this marriage of both of those fields, which was really different for that time. We have quite a bit of Alexander Girard material here. Herman Miller donated it to us. It came primarily in 1992. Recently, we were able to remove quite a bit of our Alexander Girard material from collection storage for the first time. We have almost a full set of his environmental enrichment panels, so these graphic panels that were used to adorn Action Office 2 cubicle walls or other institutional settings. This was the first time that all of these materials were out of storage and displayed together. We were able to host some people from Herman Miller Company, as well as members of the Girard family. Being able to walk around with Gerard's grandchildren and hear stories from them about some of these panels, the way that Gerard worked and the way that he felt about his work and about the world, it was a great opportunity. I've always kind of felt this like kinship to Gerard because he was incredibly unselfconscious. He took what he liked, which was color and pattern and these more figural icons and things that really weren't popular at the time, but he moved forward with it anyway. And it was really successful, despite the fact that it was so different for the time. That work is an inspiration to modern designers, contemporary designers. It's also still being manufactured commercially, and there's only greater interest to continue doing that type of work. So Girard's work, despite the fact that it was created in the 50s, 60s, it's still relevant today. It's really quite timeless.